Hey everybody, how's it going? Utorik here, and uh, this is a Q&A video uh, that I announced that I was doing on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, by the way, if you follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page, you're more likely to find out about things like these, because obviously if I make a video about it, I'll probably get like four, three hundred, four hundred, something like that questions, and I won't be able to do them all. Um, so yeah, it's a lot easier this way. So um, I'm going to read out the questions, and I'm going to answer them, every single one. Uh, no matter how dumb or even has been repeated, uh, I will still answer it. Um, I'm going to read out the Twitter people first and I'm going to go on to the Facebook people, even though the, my Twitter and Facebook is linked. Um, and I have no idea what's going to be in the background of this, probably something random, um, because I'm just recording the audio by myself, I'm not looking at any gameplay. Um, so, first question is by cat22229 uh Utaric, are you a duck no i am not a duck uh i am a human being uh i am uh i have a male body and i wish i was a duck though uh, that would be nice uh andrew asked me um did the lotion i gave you for that thing work or is it still bumpy uh that's a personal issue between me and Andrew, uh, please don't uh, question further about that, uh, I will not give an answer on such questions. Um, ENTMG Smith asks, how exactly do I get on your level? I don't know, uh, I'd say get on my level because I like the phrase gommel, uh, I'm not on any particular level, uh, setting it straight I'm just a normal dude. So. You're probably on my level already, or maybe I'm not even on your level. Uh, but yeah, um, GameWiz1305 asks, when did you meet Kevin? Uh, I met Kevin when me and Munch were on our server back in like, uh, I don't know, end of February, early March. He uh, joined the server after tweeting out that he was looking for a server to play, and that's how we met him. Um, Henri B asks, have you ever wanted a duck as a pet? Now, let me just, uh, make this clear for you people that don't follow me on Twitter, and sorry if there's any background noise, but my window's open and it's fucking hot in here, and if I haven't said already, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, then, yeah, let me get this clear, on my Twitter page, I now have an avatar, instead of my normal, uh, Neko girl, uh, I have a picture of a duck, because I really like ducks, and, uh, I tweeted it out saying like, yeah, look, I wish I was duck or something, and now people just keep saying ducks and shit like that. But anyway, uh, have you ever wanted a duck as a pet? I would fucking love a duck as a pet. From a little duckling to grow up into an actual duck, that'd be so cool. I would really appreciate if you could uh, give me one. That'd be nice. Um, uh, but not right now because my current lease doesn't allow me to have pets, which is a shame and it makes me cry inside. Um, Hunter... 1170 asks, do you ever think you will meet up with Kevin or Mel? Um, realistically, I don't think so. I have no idea. Um, Kevin lives not that far away from me. He lives on like a two hour ferry journey. Um, Mel lives in Germany. She's more, she's probably like five hours away from me. Um, but uh, I don't think realistically I will meet up with them like, hey guys, let's meet up. But if we decide to go to some convention together, then the chances are we meet up that way, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Um, it'd be cool to meet up for them. So, uh, yeah. Um, ICX13 asks, have you ever met any other YouTube commentators in person? Um, no, actually, I haven't. Um, that's a good question. Uh, the only other person I know that in person that does YouTube is that it's it's in music they upload uh, music um, that they've written or they composed um, and they ask me for if, if I can like it so they can get them some views uh, to be honest I, I do that anyway though because I always love listening to other people's music especially my friends because it's always so amazing I got some amazingly talented friends that uh, are composers um, uh, artists and stuff like that so uh, yeah it's uh, I, I, I don't really know that many YouTube I don't know any YouTube commentators, so that doesn't really count, but yeah, uh, that's a good question. Uh, why is your hair so fucking sexy, asks Mr. L. Jobe. Uh, my hair's all curly, and uh, it's kind of, it always gets in knots, so I don't really think it's sexy. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was actually thinking about getting it cut the other day, 
Um, I probably will get it cut before my graduation uh, because I need to look smart and those pictures my parents will have for the rest of their lives. So yeah, uh, I need to look good on the day that I graduate, especially when I throw that cap in the air and look like a faggot. Um, to Twitter, Noob asks, why does Kevin like older dudes like Jim and Bill? Um, <laughs> Kevin has a kind of a, uh, not really a fetish, but he, he, he does like the older men. He likes, I think he wishes he was uh, an older person uh, of Jim's stature, maybe. And Bill... Well, Bill, Bill's, like, I think Jim and Bill, I, I think he's referencing Bill from Left 4 Dead. Uh, Bill is definitely the complete opposite of Jim. Jim's more the sinister, uh, jokey, immature version of Bill, and Bill is the badass, takes charge, and no fucking messing around and shit. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think it's just uh, you're definitely cooler if you're older and you wield a gun. Um... And uh, I guess maybe deep down, Kevin would love to go around kicking people's bins over and shit. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, Munch asks, uh, if forced to pick one video or series that you've done, which is your favorite, most fun to make sense of accomplishment, whatever? Um, I think, uh, well, for a sense of accomplishment, I reckon Happy Wheels, uh, because that got me noticed by Machinima. Um, well, Machinima Respawn Army, uh, if anything. Um, and uh, yeah, that kind of got me noticed by Optic J, who in turn asked for a series and then recommended me for partnership, uh, which is definitely a sense of accomplishment that in that respect. Um, a series that I've made, or a series that I've, I've, uh, oh yeah, no, it is one that I've done. Um, that's most fun to make. I guess Happy Wheels as well as fun. Uh, but I do, I did love doing um, the early Left 4 Dead stuff. The first episode of Left 4 Dead, this like the shenanigans one that was fun to, to do, and then stuff fun to do with Kevin as well where me and him were just uh, playing by ourselves and being really dumb. Um, but a series that I've enjoyed making, I think my favorite would have to be Amnesia uh, because it was the it made me realize how much I love scary games and how much I want to do more scary games. Uh, and it's also good because even though it didn't get as many views as I thought it would, like uh, Penumbra got more views, but I think it was because at the time I didn't have such a wide audience. Um, but uh, yeah, I think uh, I think Amnesia is definitely one of my favorites. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything other that I've done. Um, no, I can't really think right now. There's too many. Uh, I do too many. <laughs> Pretty much, I do. <coughs> I make too many gaming videos. Um, I need a drink. One second. Juice. Juice Juice is really important with my videos. Uh, but, um, Kazangan asks, what's your, what's the very first video game you remember playing? Um, I think, the, yeah, it was, uh, definitely, uh, it was Duck Hunt. I played it on the Sega Mega Drive, and, uh, I think I was about five, four or five at the time, and, uh, me and my brother would play, and we had, like, a, he had, like, a 12-inch TV, and back then, those were expensive. Um, I think it was a Sony as well, and uh, we would just like stick up uh, the gun that you would get. Oh, well, I would at least right up to the screen and get fucking MLG kills on those ducks. And the fucking dog, though, I I remember the dog being annoying. I can't even remember that game though. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, Br Hicks fifty asks, do you watch Nip Nops, aka in Infinite? Infinite's ad on YouTube, and if so, have you ever sprayed compressed air on the tip of your penis? <laughs> I have no idea who Nip Nops is, and no, I've never sprayed compressed air on the tip of my penis. I can imagine that being very incredibly painful. Um, so yeah, that was a great question. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got his avatar as like a panda as well, I don't know why that makes me laugh. Uh, um, fear X Zombie, as in fear... Uh, three and four, replacing the E and the A, 
Uh, he asks, Q&A, uh, what are some good apps that you like? Uh, apps, what do you mean? It did, I, I'm going to have to relate that to maybe Mac, if so, apps on my iPhone? Or do you mean like programs? I'm going to go, I'm going to... I'm going to go with iPhone because I don't really have any, I don't really, you like, name computer programs apps. Um, I don't know. Uh, I like my Twitter app. I like my Sky News app. The weather one's always useful. Um, <laughs> uh, what else is there that's good? Let me have a look at my phone. Uh, let me see. Uh, the compass one is always cool. <laughs> Uh, what else is there? I've got a melodica one. I've downloaded this uh, one called MorphWiz. It's by a guy called Jordan Rudess. It basically makes your uh, iPhone into a mini synthesizer, which is very amazing. It comes with awesome presets. Um, Skype is also really useful. Facebook, i got the Machinima app on. Uh, and then loads of different games like Angry Birds, The Impossible Game, Rage HD. Uh, finger cutter, alchemy, chess for free, friend, uh, words with friends, and stuff like that. Tiny wings, but yeah, there's loads of good stuff on there. Interesting random question. Um, <laughs> Demon X ninety seven asks, "How big is your dick?" Uh, my dick is humongous. It's uh, ginormous, and you it will uh, always surpass uh, every one of my male subscribers' penises put together. It, it will still be bigger. Uh, <laughs> that's a really weird question. Um, PM Offal, Offal, PM Off Malaysia asks, what is the first game that you ever played? Uh, as I said before, I'm pretty sure it's Duck Hunter, or Duck Hunter, whatever that game's called. Uh, but yeah. Uh, that girl Lee asks, uh, haha, you're an original dude, and where, how did you get the name you turret from? Uh, I got the name you turret, as I've mentioned on a previous Q&A. Uh, I just made it up um, when I was signing up for Steam back in 2004, September 2004, I think, or was it earlier? I don't know. I'm one of the old school Steam uh, users. I think Steam was established in 2003. Um, and yeah, uh, we, I, I pretty much just like came up with something and I didn't like it. It was like Memphis or something. Um, and uh, and then I, th I, I was watching like Gone in 60 Seconds, so Memphis Reigns. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I just came up with the name Utoric for some reason. Um, that's pretty much it. There's no, like, interesting, uh, story on that. Um, Ryan Hage asks, uh, do you know, Me uh, Kevin, Mel, Crowley, Andrew, etc. in real life? No, I don't know any of them in real life. Uh, I met them through, uh, YouTube. And, uh, if I were most likely to meet anyone, I guess the most likely person would be Andrew because he lives in Canada uh, Tim lives in Canada April lives in Canada uh, Canada is really the only place that I would uh, go uh, if I were to like I I'm not I, I don't think I ever I have no uh, reason or family to go to Ireland or Germany to meet Kevin or Mel um, I don't have anyone in America uh, but uh, Canada are where my uh, parents live, so that's the most likely place that I can imagine going to, s like, if I could see uh, Andrew or Tim or April. Uh, but yeah, um, Gerblick asks, uh, why do you do what you do? Uh, I do what I do because I gotta do what I do. You, could, you do what you do because you gotta do what you do, man. Um, I'm guessing you mean like why do I make YouTube videos or well that's the only reason you can think of uh, I'm, I'm gonna assume you don't know that I'm a musician and I write music um, but I do it because it's fun and I like it and that's pretty much it um, Matt Zakaglin asks uh, have you ever had a boner so big it went up over your head <laughs> or do you like gum uh, no I have never had a boner so big that it went up over my head, and yes, I do like gum. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, here we go. Uh, inactive wa 11 asks, uh, what inspired you to make videos on YouTube? Uh, in all honesty, uh, honestly, honesty, in all honesty, uh, I remember watching uh, the... What was it? It was the... 
the 24/7 live it's like the 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 machinima black ops uh first to 15 prestige i was watching that all the time and i was uh i think that's when i start like i noticed uh, i first um found all these commentators like Cnanners and Hutch and all that shit and uh, I was like oh my god I want to be famous on the YouTubes and um, like everyone is like when they start on YouTube uh, but I sort of imagine that would like never really happen um, and uh, I guess uh, I just decided to do it anyway and um, yeah I, 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 now it's like, uh, I think looking back, it was Toby Turner that actually really inspired me um, because uh, he was doing Amnesia Let's Play when I found, when I first subscribed to him and I just bought the game uh, because of the Inside Gaming Awards um, uh, where it was nominated for Best Indie Game of the Year and stuff and uh, I decided to do a Let's Play on that so I went and bought Fraps for 20 quid even though you can download it for free, uh, illegally, I went and bought it because I'm pro. And uh, yeah, so I went and did that um, Let's Play and stopped. And then started with Dead Space 2. And then it just went on from there, doing Minecraft, meeting Munch. And it's just been non-stop since then. So yeah. Um, Max Waspio asks, why are you awake so early? Matter of fact, why am I awake so early? I'm awake so early because I had trouble sleeping. And uh, I got stuff to do today. I gotta go buy a Hoover. And uh, yeah, I don't know why you're awake so early. Um, I bet you've been watching the prawns all night. Uh, I got something in my eye. Ouch, that hurts. Um, yeah, Jeplin, uh, which guitar did you use to record your songs? Um, the uh, newest stuff is done with uh, um, my Ibanez RG 1527 uh, which is a seven string prestige Ibanez guitar um, and uh, seven string means that it's just a normal six string guitar with an added B on the low strings which means it's got a, a like a pitch low not a low as in like high uh, like a low E I don't know Americans say it the other way like a high E for me is the uh, the highest pitch E uh, but they they call it low E or something. I don't know. It's confusing. Uh, but yeah, um, I use that because it's a uh, it had well now it doesn't, but it had uh, nicer pickups on it uh, for the neck and uh, um, soloing on it sounded a lot smoother and warmer compared to my Jackson DXMG, which was uh, uh, it was more of a fuzzy warmth. But it's, I, stay, I prefer that now. It's interesting how it changes. But I don't really play that much guitar anymore. Um, I think I sort of lost interest with uh, writing guitar music uh, when my course finished, which is a shame. Uh, because it's been a love of mine since I was about 13. So nearly 10 years I've been playing the guitar. Uh, I won't ever stop. It's something that I've just like paused for a long period of time. I think it's been about like four months, three months now since I last properly was playing the guitar. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh, Mitch, Mr. Ricardo, or Ricardo, uh, what gaming consoles have you owned and what was your favorite game on each of them? Um, my first ever console was the PS1. Uh, the first ever game I had was Small Soldiers, but my favorite game on PS1 was by far Final Fantasy VII. Then Final Fantasy VIII, then Metal Gear Solid, uh, then probably Spyro the Dragon uh, and Crash Bandicoot Warp because those were my favorite five games ever. Uh, just because they're they're amazing. Uh, I've owned a PS2 as well. Uh, what was good on that? Um, I'm trying to think. I can't really remember using the PS2 that much. Um, I re Gran Turismo 4 or 3 or t uh, oh yeah don't forget Gran Turismo as well on the PS1 uh, by far one of the best driving simulator I've ever created um, still is um, yeah no I can't really think of anything else for PS2 I think it would have to just be like it wouldn't be Final Fantasy 10 because that game sucks um, Tekken I used to play a lot of Tekken and uh 
Uh, I, did, I wasn't big on first person shooters. Time Splitters 2, maybe. Was that on PS2? I can't even remember. And then uh, now I've got PS3 and a 360 and Uncharted f and uh, Uncharted Final Fantasy and there are a bunch of others Metal Gear uh, I can't really think right now um, and Xbox 360 I only get multiplayer stuff for really um, yeah uh, I'm not big on consoles so that's the thing I'm a huge PC gamer compared to console gaming my brother was is a huge PC gamer then switch to console because he prefers the idea of uh, he's got a PS3 and he's a trophy whore pretty much but uh, he, l he still loves uh, PC gaming but he, he's slowly drifting towards console um, but I, I've st I never made that transition I, I'm a PC gamer solid through and through um, but yeah uh, I love RNC123 uh, asks, uh, what is your motivation um, to make uh, Let's Plays? Um, my motivation is by far uh, knowing that people will watch my videos and commentate on them. Uh, commentate? Comment on them. And uh, I love reading comments. I love knowing that people like my stuff. I love knowing people if they don't like it. Um, it makes me better at what I do, I guess. It gives me uh, motivation in every aspect, knowing that people are clicking the like button or commentating or saying the things they do or say, even disliking. That help, that motivates me because then I want to make the next episodes better. Um, uh, I, I guess, like, if they could... Like, each person... Like, a cool thing that YouTube should do is basically, like, when you comment, uh, have a like button next to that comment so it says if, if you've liked the video or not and then like uh, in the comments say why you didn't like it but that will never happen because it's it's uh, it's not up to YouTube it's up to the, the viewer to decide what they want to write I mean they could write fucking gay homosexual men make my face bleed or something um, and put a dislike and that's like oh okay I see what you mean that's some good uh, constructive criticism right there but yeah uh, you know what I mean. Um, or well, maybe you don't. I don't even know what I mean. It's too... I, I didn't sleep well last night. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh my god. Uh, ZXJustJXZ asks, uh, Does anyone in your family play games? And if so, do they make videos? Um, yeah, my brother plays games a lot. He's a big gamer. Uh, my mum plays Wii games. Uh, my dad plays the occasional game, I think. Uh, he plays, they both play games on their iPhones a lot, and my dad on his iPad, uh, like, um, uh, strategy games and, like, farming games and all that shit, I don't know, um, I used to do it as well, but then I realised, actually, this takes up a lot of my time, there was one where you, uh, uh, you have to build a civilization and stuff, and you have to expand constantly, and it gives you pointless goals, and you have to achieve, like, all these things, but there's never really, like, an ending to it, and it's like, why am I doing this? Um, but yeah, that's what they, that's what my parents do. My brother plays uh, lots of games. He's a huge gamer, just like me. Uh, not necessarily into the same type of games, uh, but most of the time we are. We both love RPGs, uh, RTS, F-person, uh, F-person shooters, uh, first-person shooters. Um, what else? Uh, we do love a bit occasionally a sports game, uh, but he, as I said before, uh, enjoys PS3 gaming more than uh, I do. Um, so he'll probably be into different types of games um, accordingly. Uh, but yeah, uh, Toxic Spider X asks, "Have you ever farted during recorded uh, recording? I actually just farted. You just can't hear. So uh, yeah, uh, my mic picks it up pretty well, so I have to hide it. <laughs> to be honest, when I'm recording, I don't even care. Like if I fart, I'll just be like, oh okay. If I think that you've heard it, I'll just be like, yeah, I just farted. So what?" <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, Mr. L. Job A asks, uh, did you know your front page, you, did you know you're on the front page for most viewed today in gaming? I am? Let me check. Uh, gaming. Yeah, so I am, yeah, but this is, like, for today. So, like, other views have, the people are still on, like, 302 views. I'll get bumped down straight away, even though I'm like 4,400 and the next person's 676, but I'll get bumped down later on today. That's how it works. Um, yes, where is the next one? Uh, Durandir33, how did you, Mel and Kevin, meet? 
uh, pretty much already explained it. Met on the, the uh, on Muncher's server back in the day, like uh, end of February, early March, and uh, yeah, we just uh, started talking on Skype and stuff and playing games, and that's how we all met each other. Uh, the lemonade, lemony lemony nade asks, "What's your deal with dicks?" Um, I'm an immature 22-year-old going on 23 man, and I still find it funny when people talk about fart jokes and make fart noises and draw penises. That's pretty much that. Um, Jonesy just says ducks. Uh, J underscore shus says, uh, "When are you coming to the states?" Um, Munch really wanted me to go to America, uh, Las Vegas in particular, to go and uh, join him and some other big commentators that are going to go to Minecon. Uh, I would love to go, that'd be cool because there's some guys that I'd like to see. Uh, I know, uh, I think Seamus is going uh, to Minecon, I think, uh, I know Kutra's going. Uh, I think Sly Fox is going as well. There's some other pe big people going to be there, and uh, it'd be cool if to to potentially get the chance to meet some of those guys. Um, also, Notch, I'm guessing, will be there. Uh, oh, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know anything about it, but I'm not going to be there. Uh, I don't have the money right now. Uh, I guess maybe next year, uh, if I've made uh, uh, enough saving from earning off to woo tubes, I might be able to. Who knows? Uh, I don't even know what I'll be doing in a year's time, so, uh, I mean, estimates say in about seven or eight months I'll be at 100,000 subscribers, that'll be cool, so, in a year, I don't know what I'll be doing, I could st I could be just, like, completely uh, doing this as a full-time job, um, but, who knows, uh, iMac636, now this guy has been subscribed to me for a long, 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 long time, I remember him from a while back, he's changed his avatar on Twitter. It used to be like a picture of his face and like a Terminator style flesh coming off and it was a metal underneath. Um, but yeah, no, I remember you dude. I know who you are. <laughs> oh my god, that was bad. <laughs> that was super bad. Uh, yeah, uh, this guy, he asks, uh, do you have some odd fetish involving Munch Gamer? Um, no, I do not have an odd fetish involving Munch Gamer. He is a douchebag. He called me a douchebag, so he is now a douchebag. Uh, ben Floors seven one four asks, "Have you ever actually met Kevin and Mel face to face?" No, I have not. Uh, Ail I John Lee asks, "What's the what was the funniest moment of your life?" That's a fucking good question. Um, let me think. Uh, God, there's been too many to think of. Uh, I honestly can't give you an, uh, a particular one in my entire life. Maybe if, like you said, the past month. I can't even think that out of the past month. It's just too many. I, I, I have a fun life, I think, because I'm so stupid and I like to mess around. And I find lots of things funny. Other people will be like, what? What's wrong with you? When I'm laughing at something. They don't really fully understand, but whatever. Um, Shadow Assault. 87 asks, do I like penis? I have a penis, I like my penis, so technically that means I like penis. That answers your question. I don't like other people's penises though, that's a fact. Um, Matt Zakaglin asks, uh, if I dress up as a duck cost in a duck costume, will you give me that butt sex you promised long ago? <laughs> oh, that's weird. Uh, no. Uh, that was a, a false promise. I never wrote it down, nor did I sign it, and it would require a witness of me signing it and a witness of the other person signing it. So no, uh, that was a false promise, and you are a noob for believing it. Uh, but I would like to borrow your duck costume. Um, just saying. Um, Carrots X asks, uh, how often do you cut your toenails? <laughs> wow. Okay. I don't know. Once a month. Toenails don't grow that quick for me. Uh, I tend to make sure I'm on top of cutting nails. I bite my fingernails though, so I never really cut them. Uh, yeah, Bolchin Chi Bolchin Nia Nian 44. Would you rather have two dicks, a dick, and a vagina, or two vaginas? I I'd like a dick and a vagina. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that way you got best of both worlds, I guess. And uh, if need be, you ever rose during some sort of erotic masturbation you could just 
pretty much fuck yourself, I guess. That would be interesting. <laughs> I've pretty much just announced on YouTube that I, I'm curious about putting my own penis in my own vagina if it were possible. Everyone's thought about something like that, so I'm not the first, but whatever. Flame me if you will. Um, has Elite asks, uh, why don't you play more console games? It seems you play a PC a shit ton. Uh, not that there's nothing any not that there's anything wrong with it. Um, I prefer PC games. I much prefer using a keyboard and mouse than I do uh, uh, a controller. If uh, I were to use any controller, it would be the PS3 over the 360 controller, though. Um, it just feels way more comfortable um, for some reason. It's what I've grown up on, so uh, that makes sense just to use that. Um, but yeah, I can't really think of... Uh, um, I'm not sure. There's a there's, there's a bunch of console games out there, I guess, but uh, I just don't know. Um, I'm more interested in the PC side of things. It's more fun for me. Uh, there's less children as well, to be to make to be perfectly clear. Uh, obviously, there granted there are a bunch of kids on PC games, uh, but there are less screaming little ten-year-olds on uh, a controller on the 360 uh, and PS3. Not that PS3 has got good fucking invoice comms. <clears throat> but yeah, um, Shanky Bogus asks, uh, why did you start doing YouTube? Uh, I pretty much said it before, um, I started doing YouTube because I wanted to do, I wanted to be like other people on YouTube, I wanted to be like c and, uh, Hutch and Tavuskus and all that shit, um, when everyone, whenever anyone starts YouTube, they always have that same and dream, I guess, of becoming famous on YouTube. I'm not saying at all that I'm a famous person on YouTube. Um, I may have a large uh, subsi subscriber base, but uh, in no way am I a famous person. Um, I guess being famous, uh, those particular people are, say, Freddie Wong or Epic Mealtime or uh, FPS Russia. Those guys are famous. Those guys are, are making a lot of money off of YouTube. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely famous, uh, especially when they get noticed enough to be in uh, mega commercials um, when they have their, their stuff featured in uh, adverts and uh, stuff like that. Um, I mean, that's a great, great achievement for them. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I think I started doing YouTube just for that reason. Oh god, my voice keeps fucking up. I, like everyone else, I wanted to become famous, I guess. But that's never going to happen. And uh, it's not something I do this for. Uh, I do it now, knowing that I've got subscribers that uh, are loyal. I, I make these videos for them. And uh, I make it... I make the videos so uh, I can read whatever it is that they s have to say about them and uh, whatever it is that they uh, they did like and dislike pretty much I, I just love doing what I do pretty much and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way so yeah um, call me in uh, asks um, how do you come up with your humor is it on the spot or do you actually plan it out uh, that's interesting but uh, there's no secret to my humor I guess my humor is um, comes from within I guess I'm a funny guy um, I don't I've never I'm not a comedian I don't plan out jokes beforehand and make sure that I know them uh, and can act them out later on on stage I'm somewhat of a dumbass so I guess it's me being spot on uh, me being spot on, me uh, being funny or saying funny things is either because I'm dumb or because I have something fun to say. I don't know. I've just always been a f funny guy, I guess. I've always made people laugh and smile. Um, I just never thought... Um, I, I, I always thought it was just me laughing at the jokes and then laughing at me, not at my jokes. So, I mean, they're not exactly... When I'm when I make people laugh they're not exactly jokes it's more just like I'm pointing out things or I'll say something completely out of context uh, but yeah <laughs> I can't really think of any other answer um, and that's it for the Twitter people uh, I literally uh, announced this um, whoa, where is it uh, where is my tweet uh, I announced this an hour ago so let's go on to the Facebook people um 
because I've been recording for nearly 40 minutes, so I may as well just keep going. Uh, there's 25 questions here. Um, why did you pick the name Utoric? Uh, Ganon McCult. Oh, do I? Uh, I'm not sure if I should say names. Oh, you know, fuck it, I'll say names. Um, so you know that I've answered your, uh, your question. Uh, Ganon McCultney or McCul McCann McCannelty asks, uh, why did you pick the name Utoric? Um, as I've said that already. Well, actually, no, he says, why did you pick the name Utorak? You, you troke. So, uh, I didn't pick that name. So that's that. Uh, Gary Boulder Anderson asks, wow, you put your middle name in there, really? Um, he asks, how old are you? Uh, I'm 22. Uh, and I'm nearly 23. I was born in November. So, yeah. Um, Amaimon Gamart asks, how tall are you? And why did you pick the name Jamie? Okay. Uh, I'm six foot two. And, uh, I did not pick my name. My parents picked my name. Uh, but they did pick it for a reason. They wanted to call me James. Um, but, uh, my, I have an uncle called Uncle James. Uh, two uncles called Uncle James, actually. Um, I think I had a grand, great-grandfather called uh, James as well. And, uh, I don't know. There were just too many Jameses in my family. So, uh, uh they, I think that my mum, my dad, or I think my mum wanted to call me Jack. Uh, but my dad didn't like it, and so they came up with Jamie, uh, which is equally a, a wonderful name. Uh, I love the name Jamie, uh, but I, I don't mind um, being called and much other things. Uh, I guess when Kevin will go, James, 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 I it gets irritating, but uh, when, when uh, everyone just will occasionally call me James, it's like, uh, yeah, it doesn't bother me. Um, Gore Doran asks, can he come to the Philippines? Uh, no, I can't come to the Philippines. If you pay me, I'll go to the Philippines. <laughs> How do you know Kevin, Mel, Crowley, Andrew, etc. Uh, in real life? Oh, do you know? Uh, Ryan Hage asks, um, no, I do not. Uh, as I've already said. Um, Ashley Kelly Nom Nom asks, uh, like I said before, why do you not like Modern Warfare 3? And would you marry me? Um, Modern Warfare 3... I don't like Modern Warfare 3 already because I know that it's just pretty much going to be uh, disappointing. Um, it's going to be, it's pretty much Modern Warfare 2.5. Uh, the only difference is a story, maps, and apparently they even said that the guns that they're using are very similar to COD 4. Uh, obviously you can't vary guns every game. I mean, it's not like, I mean, the American Army has been using the M16 type weapon M4 uh, for a long time. Um, I think they're actually upgrading to the uh, ACR Bushmasters, um, for, which is the ACR, if you didn't know. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think they're upgrading to that, or it's just the uh, Special Forces that are using that. I'm not even sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I don't like it because I know it's going to be disappointing. Uh, I know it's not going to be worth my time. And pretty much Call of Duty died with me on uh, Modern Warfare 2. I did not enjoy the game. Single player was great, but uh, I didn't enjoy the game, and it just felt stupid, and uh, they released them too often. Uh, someone said, I, I said, like, um, I don't like Modern Warfare 3 because it's good. It's just, it's been a year since the previous one, and they're already releasing a new one. Someone said, like, it's been in development for two years. Well, fucking Battlefield 3 has, uh, Battlefield 2 came out in, what, 2002? Uh, I can't remember. It's been a long time since that game uh, has been out. And Battlefield 3, it's uh, uh, excessor. Is that the word? Uh, predecessor? No, that's the... Pre oh, pedest oh, fuck it. The one that comes after Battlefield 2. Uh, they've been working on that game for a long time. And uh, they've obviously put their heart and soul into it. Whereas uh, Modern Warfare 3, uh, it's just another way to get money, I'm guessing. Activision are just trying to drain us dry um, and uh, that's the only way I can see it There's, I, I guarantee you playing that game there will be no love in that whatsoever whereas you play Battlefield 3 I've already played the alpha I know I fucking know that that game is so much better already so much better uh, beta better than Modern Warfare 3 already uh, just because it feels like a, an amazing game um, so yeah uh, someone else has just asked another thing on uh, on to Twitter, um, 
What is your f- uh, favorite genre of music and favorite band artist? Uh, asked by Steve Davy one two three four. Um, my favorite genre of music is uh, progressive rock, symphonic rock, uh, film score, metal. I'm pretty much a metalhead, uh, as you can tell by my hair. Uh, my favorite bands are uh, Dream Theater, Adagio, uh, Symphony X, Rhapsody of Fire. Uh, what else? Um, there's a bunch of others. Arion. Um, that's the one other that I want to say. Uh, oh God, what's it? it begins with a K? I can't remember. I'll probably think about it. I'll think of it in a second. Um, yeah. And uh, oh wait, no. Ashley Kelly Nom Nom asked me if I would marry her. Yeah, I'll marry you. Uh, if you're above the age of eighteen, I guess. Or sixteen is decent in the UK. We're allowed, I guess. But marriage is eighteen. So yeah, yeah, uh, just uh, give me a phone number, we'll uh, sort some shit out. Um, I'm kidding, by the way, Jesus Christ. Steven Lamar Phillips, have you looked into playing any MMOs? If so, which ones? Um, I used to play Final Fantasy XI online, uh, which is a MMO, and uh, that game was amazing. Uh, I think it's still active, uh, the servers are definitely still active. I think it came out in 2003 or 2004. Um, but considering I've always been into the Final Fantasy style of RPGs, I chose that over World of Warcraft, and uh, I stopped playing it frequently. I would play for about a year and then stop playing, and then start a new character. But it was really hard to get back into the sync of things because you had to get to you had to do certain things. You had to get to level fifteen, then you could get a secondary job from your first job. Then you would go back and level that secondary job to fifteen or thirty, um, and you could basically have your first job say as a warrior. So you'd be a tank, and then your second job would be something to aid you. So you'd have a thief. Uh, so you could be a um, a warrior thief. Uh, so you get like you'd be level thirty warrior and level fifteen thief, uh, because it'd be sec- your secondary job, and it would give you like uh, plus dexterity, plus uh, agility, and stuff like that. So you can get more chance of getting critical hits and stuff. It was uh, an intric- intricate game how they planned it out, and they kept adding loads more stuff and all these expansions. I never actually got onto the story. I just like leveling and partying and um, and what's it called and uh, grinding with other people and stuff like that. It was a uh, that's what she said, and uh, it was it was a good fun, especially when I had uh, my brother play that game. I've got a friend, a long long life friend, effectively uh, two actually. Uh, my best friend, um, like I've only got one pretty much best friend. Uh, his name is Kareem Azam, and I've known him for pretty much most of my life. Uh, and he lives in Toronto. He was a friend of mine when I used to live in the Middle East, and uh, he plays uh, he played that game. Uh, we still keep in contact. He's actually the one who came up, helped uh, make me come up with the name Utoric. And uh, he still plays that game, I think, or he doesn't anymore. But we used to play it a lot. We used to go to, like, internet cafes and play that game, like, uh, pretty much um, all night. Do all nighters on that game, uh, grind and earn cash. And people would, like, pay us. Well, not me in particular, but people would pay him because he was hardcore uh, to level up those characters and stuff like that. So. Uh, RMTs is not good. Or definitely not RMT, but people make money from it, um, and that's real money traders, if you know, you're wondering. But yeah, so um, uh, I think Guild Wars is another one that I played, but I didn't play it that much because I didn't like the fact that uh, you could uh, you can only interact with people uh, inside the cities, whereas you'd have to be a four-man team going outside, and that was it. You couldn't interact with anyone outside. Uh, but I'm looking for Guild Wars 2. I reckon that will be interesting. I'd like to see how that plays out. Um, Nico Contreras asks, or whatever, uh, Nico Contreras asks, uh, what made you start doing Let's Plays? What was your influence? I've said before, Toby Turner, uh, the, the thought of becoming famous and stuff like that. Uh, Miguel Vega asks, how old are you? I'm 21, uh, 22. Uh, what made you start making videos? Already said. And why did you pick the name Utaric? Already said. Uh, Ashley Kellum. Ash- he asks, what? Ashley, Kellum nom- Ashley Kelly Nom Nom, you bogus for deleting me for no reason. So, okay, so apparently Ashley Kelly Nom Nom deleted Miguel Vega. Holy shit on Facebook. Oh my god. Drama on Facebook. Okay, well, there's loads of questions coming down here. Oh my god, it's nearly been an hour. Um, if, I, if I upload this, this will be epic. Um, Cameron Livingstone asks, why are you so fucking awesome? Uh, I'm not. 
Um, I'm just an, just me. I'm just an old dude. Uh, if I didn't make YouTube videos, I probably wouldn't be awesome. And you never know about me. Uh, nor would you want to. So, that's just that. Uh, Vlad Romanov. Ho Romanov? Holy fuck, you've got an epic name. Uh, let me look at your picture. I want to see what you look like. You're a skinny dude. Where are you from? It looks like you're from Ukraine or something. Uh, in what country would you like to live the most besides England? Uh, plus, what is your favorite music band? Uh, I've already said my favorite music. Um, I guess America or Canada. I would like to live in either of them. Uh, just because... Um, uh, actually, no. Japan or Canada, I think. I I'd love to live in Japan just to... Not for a while, but... Uh, not for, like, ever, but just for a while to see... See what it's like, uh, I guess. Um, see how that I've always been fascinated by the Japanese culture. Uh, always wanted to learn Japanese. Um, and always since uh, I was a big anime fan. Not so much now though because uh, I kind of got sick of the. It's the same story. It's the same drama. Uh, same love interest type thing in every single fucking thing. Uh, but there are some series in anime like Death Note, Neon Genesis, Evangelion, Cowboy Bebop, Trigun. Um, all those other great classics that are amazing and that I will always love, um, but uh, yeah, I've always been uh, interested in uh, Japanese culture uh, in Canada because uh, my parents live there in Alberta and uh, it's a beautiful place, uh, I just love the, the fact that they live so close to the Rockies um, and I love snow as well and it's cool, uh, they've got really big trucks and shit and I really want to drive a fork, like a forklift, uh, drive a, a, a truck, um, but yeah, uh, Riley Downey asks, uh, since Kevin's master plan of ending Survival Island got erased, is it over or can we expect more or different ending? Uh, Survival Island is dead. It died with Kevin's computer, unfortunately. Uh, I still do have the ending. However, it wasn't finished and it's not worth being posted. And I think I deleted it, actually, so I don't have the ending. Uh, but yeah. Um, John Lampitelli asks, how did you, uh, how did you meet Kevin and Mel? I already answered that, so, um, yeah. Uh, ben Moore, where do you see your channel in a year, two years? Uh, well, in a year, hopefully at 100k. In two years, hopefully at 200k or more. That would be pretty amazing. Um, I would like to be very successful uh, with YouTube. Uh, I could already, even though I'm only at 33,000 subscribers, uh, I already consider myself really successful. <laughs> uh, I've got a partnership. Um... I'm in contact with people uh, on Machinima. Uh, I am in contact with people on Realm. Um, and I've got amazing friends. So uh, I consider myself pretty successful right now, uh, personally, uh, in regards to the YouTube world. Not very successful whatsoever. Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, who cares what anyone else thinks? It's all about what I think, to be honest. I love what I do. And uh, I'd love to be living off this. It'd be nice. Uh, and potentially uh, writing music and being paid for that as well, uh, as I already am, which is kind of uh, two dreams combined, playing games, getting paid for it, uh, writing music, getting paid for it. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, what's this? I got another one. Uh, where's my Jaffa on Twitter said, can we see Todd? Uh, you can see Todd if you want. I, I'll ask him. And if so, I might put a picture of Todd here, but I doubt I will. Um, back to Facebook. Uh, Ricardo S. Sosa Reyes, what do you think of the new Gears of War game? I don't like Gears of War, so I've got no comment on that, really. Uh, Austin Peterson, you mentioned you have fun with Call of Duty, but you haven't posted any in, like, a year. What reason do you have for liking smaller franchises' games, uh, if that's the case? Oh, that's an interesting question. Um, I haven't posted any Call of Duty stuff since I was trying to make a montage of ProMod shit, and I'm not good at editing, so I gave up on that. Um... Other than that, I posted uh, some random tomahawk kills when I was messing around with the theater mode uh, on Black Ops. And uh, I generally don't play... I'm not a Call of Duty commentator uh, whatsoever. Um, so I tend to not um, post COD gameplay because I don't see the point. Maybe if I was doing a live commentary with some friends, just randomly record it. I would probably do it then, but I'd probably be raging so it wouldn't be fun to watch anyway. Uh, unless you enjoy my raging, I don't know. I need some juice, I've been talking non-stop for like 50 minutes. And I'm gonna upload this in one big segment, so who cares? 
This will be like an, a pre... You know what? This will be my special 200-something video. Not my 300th video. So, fuck you. Um, yeah. Uh, where was I? Uh, Philip Keegan. Uh, poop and butts and stuff. Yes or no? Definitely yes. Uh, Austin Peterson again asks... Uh, Xbox, PC, PS3 or PC? PC. Uh, Marcus Creech asks, uh, what inspired you to do commentaries? Uh, what inspired you to bring your musical career? Uh, bring? Oh, begin my music, musical career. Hobby, whatever wish to call it. Uh, I've already said what I, the reason why I started YouTube. Um, I've been musical ever since I was very young. Uh, as everyone starts in school, they start on the uh, recorder, maybe going to the piano. Uh, I went from the piano to the clarinet, to the piano, um, to uh, the guitar, uh, to the bass, to drums, to singing. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I do a lot of music. Uh, it's not really a hobby. Uh, it's more life, to be honest. My music, my life has pretty much been dominated by music. Uh, not currently though, it is uh, dominated by YouTube videos, um, trying to trying to hopefully make that into a career, that would be cool, um, but yeah, uh, music is more of a love, it's like a woman that I love um, rather than a hobby, um, but yeah, that's a cool question. Um, Austin Peterson asks, who are my YouTube inspirations? Um, my YouTube inspirations definitely would be... Um, I'm a big fanboy of uh, Paragon Nova, uh, or Ubax or Nova, or Nova, or James, whatever you want to call him. Uh, Kutra, um, I guess Spoon as well. Spoon uh, always humors me uh, with his videos. Um, who else? Uh, I would say I, w I wouldn't say C Nanas and Hutch because I don't like uh, Call of Duty commentaries. And, um, what else? Uh, Kevin has always been an inspiration, uh, ever since I started watching his videos. Um, I'm trying to think, who else? Who am I subscribed to? Let me check. Uh, Seamus, obviously, Seamus is a huge inspiration. Seamus is one of the reasons why, he is the reason why I post so many videos that I do. Let me just click and see how many he's posted today. Okay, he's posted eight videos today. Um, so if I could, I'd be posting eight videos a day. Um, who else is a big one? I'm not that. I'm not subscribed to that many people. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, no, I'm the only people I can see in my sub box is Spoon, uh, Nova, Andrew, Munch, Z, uh, Z Machinima, which is Z Roy Viking, Seamus. Mel, Kutra, Kevin, Machinima, Mel, Kevin, Munch. So, uh, yeah, I think my inspiration is pretty much like uh, Seamus being the biggest, Nova for funnies, Kutra for phrases, uh, which I subconsciously steal, uh, Spoon for weird and creepiness, and Kevin for uh, seriousness, I guess. Pretty much that makes that makes perfect sense, actually, when you put it that way. Um, next question is uh my huge fucking thing just died uh what the hell where is it uh what made you grow your hair um i've always wanted to grow my hair long and um i guess i died i was growing my hair long at school but i only had it short long it was like down to my my eyebrow and uh i dyed it black uh for a metal night out and i thought it was a week uh, like you can get these dyes where it's just like a, it lasts for like a week and uh, it, it didn't, it, it was permanent, so I shaved my head, went completely skinhead, and uh, I haven't cut my hair since, I've only had one haircut since, uh, and it's, that was three years ago, so, <laughs> uh, well, three years ago in November, um, and I've always wanted long hair, so I guess that's just the reason why, uh, but now it's just really annoying, because it gets in the way, when I wake up, it's in my fucking facial hair, uh, it's annoying, because it takes so long to dry, <laughs> Uh, it's cool when you don't have it, but when you do have it, it's like, I don't want this anymore. Uh, which is the same with everything else. So, what can you do? Um, that was asked by 
Ellis Yates, by the way. Um, Aaron Lee asks, okay, fuck one, marry one, and kill one. Hutch, Cena, and Sark. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to say I would marry c because of his cooking and his OCD cleaning. I could deal with that. Uh, I would uh, have to say I'd fuck Sark and then I'd kill Hutch. Um, probably because Hutch is skinny and uh, I don't think he'd be that good in bed. Whereas Sark will be... Uh, I think he'd be a loving man in bed. I think definitely he would be all cuddly and uh yeah, I I think that's a weird question. <laughs> uh but uh yeah, uh, they're on the last two right now. Uh I'll check Twitter just before and refresh this page just in case. Um Derek Doyle asks, uh, do you ever do op- uh, open lobbies for PSN? Uh what is your favorite game ever? Um I don't do open lobbies for PSN because my NAT is always strict. And I can never connect with friends. Uh, it's my PS3. I don't know why. Um, I don't really care though because I don't really do PS3 stuff on multiplayer. So I apologize for that. Um, I do occasionally do something on the 360 just for fun. Um, maybe Black Ops or something like that. Uh, but yeah. Uh, already said what my favorite game ever is. Oh no I didn't. No. Uh, Final Fantasy 7 will probably be my favorite game ever. Uh, but yeah. And that was Derek Doyle. And the last one. Uh, goes to Tyson Ashcroft um, why are you so awesome and how can I be as awesome as you uh, open eyes face um, I'm not that awesome I'm just uh, I just do what I do <laughs> uh, and uh, just uh, I don't know just be yourself <laughs> I have no idea um, let me just refresh this page see if there's anything else uh, no, nothing else on there. Can you make a question to the fans? Uh, what PC game you should post up and fans give you random opinions? Uh, nope. I don't know what that means. Uh, let's check. Last check on Twitter. Well, that's it. Nothing else has been asked. So, uh, wow, 57 minutes. This has been nearly an hour long. Um... I'm going to make this in one big video, <laughs> and it could be, uh, I don't know, I'll put it as like my special 200 something video, uh, instead of having a 300th video special, <laughs> so uh, thanks guys, if you've listened to this the entire way through, that's epic, uh, and I salute you, I imagine not many people will, but uh, who cares, uh, I th- wanted to do this because uh, not that many people do do our long Q&A's. <laughs> oh shit, I've got to get gameplay for this now. Um, oh well. Uh, thanks guys for watching, I guess. Um, and uh, as always, get the fuck out of here and get on my level. I'll talk to you later. Bye.